Major Chris Crawford retired from the U.S. military four years ago to care for his children. Combat operations left Crawford 80% disabled, and a divorce left him with full custody of his five daughters, at that time aged one to seven years. Some days it's uh, from teaching soldiers how to shoot rifles and fight in combat to braiding hair and trying to master cooking. It's a... Uh, Plus, now I've learned the names of many Disney princesses. Crawford was raising his daughters on the south side of Indianapolis in a neighborhood that was in decline. My, I used to have a big brick mailbox and then got destroyed by gang members who were drunk, slamming their cars into it. Crawford wanted to raise his daughters in a safer environment and began researching places to live. His journey brought him to Williamsport in Warren County. It's the only county out of all 92 that does not have a stoplight. Crawford says the schools are highly rated and the community has very little crime. He purchased an old Victorian home built in 1885 by Fremont Goodwine, who was a member of the first graduating class at Purdue in 1878. Crawford says he knew the house would need extensive repairs to make it a home for himself and his daughters. I put any spare money I get. Uh, it's not much, but I put towards fixing this house up. Crawford says as the family settled into the home, more problems started to appear. During the rains, I started noticing the water coming down the walls on the, on the backside, down through the bathrooms. And uh, um, girls say, Daddy, Daddy, the w there's water coming in, the ceiling's collapsing. Crawford had hopes of making the repairs himself, but as he inspected the roof, he realized it was way too big a job to handle on his own. The roof was a lot had a lot more uh, damage, was a lot more extensive than what I realized, and uh, even through the home inspection. Um, I've had quotes between thirty to 40000 just for the rough loan. That's when one of Crawford's family members reached out to Knox Services and shared his predicament. You know, it was a really touching story. Um, and then we have some, one, we care about the community and giving back. So when we have an opportunity to give back in a way that's meaningful, uh, we definitely want to explore that. And the military connection, my husband was in the military, my partner, Matt Deckard, his father was in the military. So we looked at it a little more closely, partly because of that. Andrew says they were able to work out a deal for the Crawfords through some of their suppliers. We're going to do a full roof replacement like we would for anybody else. Uh, take the old roof off and put a lifetime roof system on with an architectural roof, so GAF. Uh, is the manufacturer of the materials. They're actually donating the shingles. Crawford says as a devout Christian, he has a strong belief that God will carry him through. I don't stay awake worrying about a lot of stuff because um, I, I, I do have this faith, this belief that everything's going to work, but um, it, does take a, it does take a bit off me. Knox Services plans to begin work on the Crawford House this week. In Williamsport, I'm Dave North for Star City News.